What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and I just got my new custom in-ear monitors made by Vision Ears and I'm going to talk about the process of getting these made. I shot the entire process when they were doing all the things in my ears. I also recorded a quick unboxing and then I'm going to show you or share with you my thoughts about getting some custom in-ear monitors for yourself. Of course, they're inside the box, but I'm going to show you them in a bit when you see, you know, the entire build process and also the unboxing video. So let's check that out and then we're going to talk about everything. So we are at Vision Ears and I'm getting my custom in-ears, in-ear monitors done and I'm going to get some things inside my ear right now and I'm going to document the whole process. So I got this paste in my ear, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but let's, let's do that. So right now I barely hear anything from the outside, it's very quiet, and so I think that's a good sign. <laughs> So as you can see, these are the inner monitors and I had them made with this sort of like carbon fiber look and the logo of my band Ash Makers. And if we look at them compared to a you know regular earbud that you have, these look really weird because they have the exact shape of your ear. So you you know they go inside your ear, really inside your ear. If I compare them, for example, to what I used previously, which were the Shure 215s, they look like a normal earbud, right? And let me get that in focus. Kind of hard. And they are much more simpler in design, you just put them on your ear, put them in there, and that's it. And these Shure 215s are definitely fairly good for the money. They cost about 80 to 100 euro. I'm assuming that it's 80 to 100 bucks, dollars in the US, for example. And if you're in need of in-ears, getting those is probably one of the best first steps that you can take. I know there are all brands, but I have no experience with those. Many of my friends either used one of uh, one of those or still use them and they do the job okay. They don't sound amazingly well, but for the price, for about 80 to to $100, you can definitely play gigs with them. They do iso isolate the sound from outside quite decently and you still get a clear signal in your ears. And compared to the Vision Ear ones, the Shure uh, SE 2015 are, I think, have two drivers. It's a two-way system. These, the VE6, which is the model, this is a four-way system. And it's got two base drivers, two mid drivers, one high mid driver, and one 
travel driver. So there's a lot more clarity and definition in everything that you hear. And to be completely honest, I have never heard music so good in my life. It just, everything sounds exactly where it should sound in the stereo spectrum. You hear the bass very precise and clear. It's round, it's full. The top end is not harsh. The mids are also noticeable. And it just sounds like really big and good. It's, it's fun to listen to music with these. And it's also fun to play. I've been practicing a little bit with them to get used to the feeling of having the in-ear monitors inside your ears because these are a bit different, like I showed you earlier, when you put them on because these really go all the way inside your ear and it does feel a little bit weird when you have them on. And the good thing though is that they do isolate the sound very well. Right now that I'm speaking, for example, it sounds, I mean, everything, all that I hear is pretty much in my head. You know, I don't hear any sounds from the outside. It's very quiet. It, there's a reduction of minus 27 dB from what you hear outside. So you can have the volume of whatever you're listening on your in-ears very quiet and you're still gonna be able to hear it, which is something that I automatically noticed when I started practicing with them, because I had to only turn up the volume on my interface a tiny bit so that I could hear things. And I really, I really asking myself, myself, why didn't I invest in something like this much sooner? Because you can really pull down the volume of everything down you can hear everything a lot more clear and it's definitely also more comfortable to wear than one of the, you know, universal uh, earbuds because depending on how big your ears are or how small they are, finding the fitting or the one that fits, you know, the little plastic thing or foam that really fits in your ear or feels comfortable and there's enough bass and the, the, that everything sounds clear is kind of hard. And sometimes they just put too much pressure and listening through prolonged periods of time can get quite tiresome. These, it's really a joy to listen to music with these. And these have a light bass boost on the drivers. There's also a model of the same line, the VE6, which is completely flat, but I got the ones with a tiny bit of bass boost. And I really can't tell how much of a bass boost it is. It's not overwhelming by any means but the bass is very present and full. And I'm gonna be testing them live this coming week. Uh, we've got three shows with Dr. Crapula and we are building or we've built an in-ear monitor rack so that all the band is on in-ear monitors so that I'm gonna be able to test them really thoroughly um, in the gigs. And we have a rehearsal beforehand because we have to, you know, set all the things in the rack and whatnot, but I'm gonna be testing them live and, you know, judging from the comments that I've got from my friends who also own in-ears by Visioneers, they are amazing. They are, you know, lo last a long time and the service is really, really good. As you could see, I did them, I got them done at the Guitar Summit in Mannheim when I was there and it took maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes while they were pouring the paste in my ears and then they sent the molds to the company, they had them made and they shipped them to me. And it took more or less six weeks to have them done. And I'm really happy with the results so far. I still have to adjust because it, like I said, it feels a bit strange having them really all the way inside your ears, but the quality is, amazing the cable is also really nice you can also disconnect the cables from the in-ear monitor itself you also get this case with your name and you get this little pouch to put 
them inside. You get a cleaning tool and a jack to connect your ears. You get some stickers. And what else is there? Oh yeah, there's some instruction on how to clean them and you also get some humidifier tabs here as well so that you can take care of your monitors because these cost about 1,500 euro. So it is a chunk of money, no question about it, but I think it's worth investment to be honest. And I, like I said, I'm questioning why it took me so long to invest in this. It kind of sounds, you know, wow, 1,500 euros for a pair of headphones, but these help you to do your job better and also to take care of your ears because you're going to be able to hear everything a lot more quieter and, uh, you know, that way avoid um, damaging your ears. And that's the reason why I got them because we got this winter tour coming with Dr. Crapeland and we're playing pretty much 30 shows in a row. You know, one day after the other and you know standing next to a drummer every night little sleep loud sound checks and whatever it's tiresome for the ears so i wanted to protect my hearing and pull be able to pull down the volume while still hearing everything very clearly so i'm gonna document the process i'm gonna show you the in-ear rack in an upcoming video like i said we're gonna test that in this coming week so stay tuned for that and also we're gonna do a video about the benefits of using in-ear monitors and what should you maybe look out for maybe what should you pay attention to and what um, are the pro and cons of playing with a band with in-ear monitors and not so also stay tuned for the video as always thank you guys for watching let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.